Okay. Um, for uh, our distance, distance to people, hopefully we'll just stay connected. If any of you see us lose the connection on the screen, let me know and I'll come back and turn it off and turn it on. Let me start by being over here. Uh, and we'll see how we do, okay? What I want to do is I want to talk about this first, and which is to say your scores. Uh, the people who are at a distance, can you tell us what your um, uh, Kiersey Myers-Briggs is? You only need two letters of the four. So you're either an SP, an SJ, an NT, or an NF. Do you have your stuff there? Yes, I have mine right here. Um, I'm an SP, it says. Okay, a. fine. Who else, Grace, did you put yours up here? Yes. Yes, okay, fine. All right, anybody else from a distance? Uh, just interrupt me if... Um, yeah, uh, I'm at J. SJ, okay. Thank you. All right. Um, I am yeah. trying to um, kind of pick something. I was actually in between for two of them. Okay. So, um, I forgot to this. <laughs> okay, let's give you both. So, what would you be if you were both? The two of them. Um, SP, um, and, and, and NT, and MF. <laughs> okay, so you're sort of in the middle. Okay, All right. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's let's talk about this a little bit, All right? And um, uh, oh, and b before we do that. Um, Manfred called me last night to tell me that it looks like everything is going online for the university mm -hmm. as of uh, next week. So this will probably be the last time we as a class meet in person. For now. For now. <laughs> okay. For now. Okay. Now, for me, I'm only here, well, theoretically, I'm here two more weeks. Practically speaking, I, I predict I'll be here longer. Okay. Um, I'm expecting to interact with each of you individually. We need to set up some times and I just haven't started talking to you about this, but I want to talk to everyone about their career planning, what you're going to do next year, okay? And either we can do it in person, we can meet for coffee, um, mm -hmm. or we can do it on Skype or on the phone. I prefer not on the phone, okay? So we can really look at each other. So I'll be writing to you and uh, and asking you all to set up a time with me, however we do it, okay? Um, as you know, I live right over here. There's actually a little coffee shop in our apartment, so it's easy for me, and if you're living in the dorms, they're not trying to push you out of the dorms, are they? No, no, no. No, they're no, saying, no, no not for now. Okay, not for fine. now, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so we, you know, I can meet with people if for whatever reason you'd rather do it on Skype, that's fine. Also, just before we start with this, um, some of you are working on your APEs, a couple have finished. Um, some of you are still trying to set it up. We can be in touch with both uh, Manfred and with me, okay? So um, I, I know that that's an active issue for many of you, and we'll work with you on that, all right? Okay. Uh, quick question. I have a couple of unrelated questions, sure. now or later. Now, if it's pertinent to everybody, sure. Uh, well, there's been an online petition about uh, the resignation of uh, the general of Tamil Nadu because uh -huh. of political and corrup corruption reasons. Uh -huh. So, what is your opinion on it? Ah. <laughs> this is the guy from Africa, right? To, yeah. to NESCO or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, that's cool. So, um, it would be much more interesting asking Manfred that question, but he. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, is it reconnecting? Uh, they said that maybe we could connect through hotspot. It would be better if the internet is bad instead of using the wi the university Wi-Fi. Okay, let's try. 
what I want to try is, so that's not working at all. Let's do this. Let's do air caramel. Maybe it won't be so busy. Actually, better in my office. doesn't work, mm -hmm. then I would be happy okay. to have you help us. Okay. Okay, so right now we're on Air Carmel. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we reconnected, everybody? I think so. Um, Adi has offered to connect us to what again? Through WhatsApp. Through WhatsApp. But then someone has to do it also because I can't fit all of them. I can go to Elena's yesterday, but without video. Okay. This is working right now. Yeah, okay. Let's, we'll, okay. we'll keep trying it even if we need to connect and reconnect, okay? All right. So what would I, what would I say? First of all, what I learned from Manfred is that the selection of the WHO Director General is a political decision. The ministries of health of all of the countries of the UN send their Minister of Health and they elect this person. He or she is not elected based necessarily on their skills. They're elected or selected based on the politics of the moment. So because of SARS, they took Grace Wu, who was, uh, no, you're Grace Wu. Who did they take? What's her name? <laughs> um, Margaret sorry. Chen. Say, Margaret, Chen. Margaret Chen. Margaret Chen. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> My name's mixed up. They took Margaret Chen, who then proceeded, she, she was from Asia, they thought that would be good, bringing China in, and then the next crisis was Ebola in Africa. So now they took, so that got settled, now they took a guy from Africa, and where's the crisis? It's in China again, okay? So, uh, I don't know. It's a political job. I, I don't know what his competence is. I really don't. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, personally, if I was the emperor of the world, I'd just leave him alone and let him do his work. I mean, yesterday he finally declared the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But again, these are political issues, um, and, and these people are highly political. They're, they're not, they're professionals, but they're also very much politicians. Mm -hmm. I have one more. Yes. So, uh, we are public health, and coronavirus is like the top of the town, and everyone is asking, what should we do? and people are freaking out. So as public health workers, what kind of message can we give them? Well, I, you just heard yesterday. I mean, we, we all talked about it. I, I think, yes, you are public health workers and you are a source of authority. You know uh, 10 times what the average person knows. And, um, you know, what, what, what did we talk about yesterday? You want to be honest? You want to say you're not really sure? Um, uh, but you don't want, you don't want to, remember what Manfred said, you don't want to scare people, you don't want, you don't want people to panic, but you want them to have a certain level of fear, because there's something to be afraid of. Don't lie, okay? One out of three people will probably get sick. And yesterday in Germany, Angela Merkel said two in three, are, she's, she's ready in Germany for two out of three people to get sick. And it's, so, so I, I, again, you should not be too optimistic nor too pessimistic. Or just it'll be, it'll be, I don't know if that helps. You know, you have a lot of knowledge, so 
Uh, yesterday or I don't know the day before I told Lucha and Marta that maybe we can do uh, like a video, an like interactive video with information we know to express the people we know in our own language and in English. So if we want, we can work on that all together, like put some information regarding like general issues about the virus, how it's spreading or what do we recommend mm -hmm. and then do like media stuff like, I don't know, 40 okay. seconds something like that and then share it in our Facebooks and our friends or our family is going to share it because they know what we are saying so, or something like that if you agree. Yes, mm -hmm. my mom's asking me to like share a video of myself giving a message and I don't feel like I've got authority. Okay, so yeah, maybe we can. Things. I was imagining something like with, uh, I don't know, pictures and like a video, very yeah. short with subtitles in English and we can, I can do one fun in Spanish and you can do it in your language and whatever. So. <coughs> Yeah, if we could do it like a class initiative, that would be really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I, if I do it in Thai, I might get assassinated when I go back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> well, yeah. But I mean, like, we can take advantage to share it yeah. in our own communities, too. Yeah, and I think it would be great. Mm -hmm. and, and you could communicate with people of your age. Mm -hmm. That's a very reasonable thing to do. You know, many young people are feeling they don't have to worry about it. Well. Young people are going to get sick. They're just going to survive. Okay, most. I mean, some young people will die, right? I mean, around the world. Um, but the the greater concern. Okay, it's back. Okay, the greater concern is your parents and your grandparents. Yeah. So you still have concerns. So everyone that wants uh, write to me, I will do like a WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Just a share story about um, there's this Thai woman who studies holistics and claims that she works with the Ministry of Health, and I checked, I, like they don't never heard of her. Apparently, like she has been doing a live video explaining the Corona situation, and uh, she got threatened through like through her family in Thailand to stop doing that. She's still doing that, but Thailand. there's a lot of bad information, yeah. as you know. So, I think the one thing. It seems the most sensible to everybody is social distancing, you know, which we talked about yesterday. Okay, let's let's go to this, please. Okay. All right. So let's just very briefly review. This is the work of Kiersey, which is the work of Myers Briggs, which is the work of Carl Jung, and actually, if you go back in history you will hear all the way back to the Greeks, people talk about the four forces. What is it? Fire, water, wind, and earth. Earth? earth. Yeah. Okay. And I can't draw it for you, but one of each of these represents one of those. Okay. Right? So I think diplomats are fire uh, and uh, Guardians are probably Earth. I, I don't remember. Shakespeare has these four personalities. Okay, um, so this is this has been well described for a very long time. Now, the majority of you uh, are well. You're tied at NF and SJ. Half of you are guardians, and half of you are diplomats or idealists. Is that a surprise? Can you review what they mean? Okay. Yeah. So, a commander or an artisan is someone who is immediate, concrete. They like to work with their hands. Okay? They may be musicians or artists. Artisan. Okay? In a leadership role, they, they know immediately what to do. They're not thinkers. They're doers. So, in medicine, they're surgeons or emergency medicine physicians. Engineers. Well, not engineers. Well, engineers who fix things. Okay? okay. Guardians are logistical. They do they're very orderly, structured, on time, detail oriented. Everything has to be done just right. They're very good with they, they like to keep their money, they don't like to spend their money. Okay? It's dropped. 
Okay. Who are you calling? Ed Okay, I'm calling um, Maya and Kayla and Katie then. Yeah. yeah, but I can only add like three people. So you have to add me Victoria maybe. But I'm not calling by video because it's not working for me. I'm calling by normal. Yeah, I'm seeing I can add it. Yeah, you can do conference call and regular calls. I am slowly uploading yesterday's videos. Okay. Very yesterday's very slow. They may, well, it's up to them how they handle the video and audio. You know, yes, the audio. Yeah? Okay, I will uh, just make it. Who's calling? Victoria. Uh. Should I call Talia too? Uh, yeah. She, she, is, she, is she here? Is she here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, when we're separated, maybe it'll all be better. <laughs> you want to try to use my hotspot to connect? Because I have like partner, and partner has a good um, uh, connection here, like I have full reception. Try. I don't. I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, so hotspot is actually sharing your uh, the what's it called? Um, can you go to the Wi-Fi section? Oh, hold on. I think we're connected now. Yeah, but then that's a good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to continue while we're working on this, okay? So many of you are SJs, logistical, or guardians. You're traditional. You're well organized. You don't like to spend money. Okay, you're very serious, right? Okay, no. can you guys hear us? Kayla? Yeah, I can find it here. Okay. It's fine in and out. Can you add the rest to the video? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, hold on with that. Okay, we're trying something different now. The hotspot is working, so. It is working. Okay, good. Okay. So look and see if I'm still there. Okay, good. All right. So. Now, half of you, almost half of you, are guardians or logistical. Does that make sense? Hmm? Yeah. Who studies? Who wants to go advance themselves? People who are well organized. Okay? Other people just try, you know, if you're in the business world, Okay, if you're an SP, you just keep trying until you get a success, okay? You believe in yourself and you do it. Most of you are very structured. You, you don't want to take a chance. So you study your future and you said, well, I'm going to study in order to get that next level. I will be organized and get it done. A lot of physicians are like this, okay? Why? Well, because you have to be able to sit still for four years or six years and study. Okay, and just keep going. These people have more trouble. Who's who's uh, any, any of who's the SP? Any SPs that Maya. Maya. Okay. Yeah. Maya. It's probably. I'm also, I'm also SP. Yeah. Okay. So right. So it's harder, probably harder for the for the two of you to sit down and study. Okay. To concentrate. Yeah. 
Because right? you want to get up and do stuff. Okay? Uh, who rides motorcycles? <laughs> what are you and you're an SJ? Yeah, we talked about this earlier. Most motorcycle riders are SPs. They just want the experience. Okay? Right? Okay. NTs are the rationals. Okay? These are people who are cool. They are not invested in any beliefs. They will accept and make decisions based on whatever is presented to them. Okay? So the guardians like old ideas. We've done it this way. Let's keep doing it this way. The idealists, they like the new things. Okay? Whatever the future is. These are risk takers. These people will take some risks. Okay? I actually have handouts I'm going to give you. Factors for me. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, these people are very cool with decision making. Who's the MT? Me, but okay. I'm not good with decisions. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it goes. <laughs> you should be better. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right. You can look, incidentally, you take your four letters, mm -hmm. put it into Google, and you'll get a huge amount of information. This is common, common. The Myers Briggs is very common. Okay? The NFs are idealists. Right? So they look to the future. They don't like details. Okay? They love people. They're very interested in people. So if you look at medicine, who goes into medicine or nursing? Okay, either guardians or uh, idealists. Okay, very common. Who goes into public health? Sure, idealists. Right? Do you get rich in public health? No. No, you, the, the six of you are willing to sacrifice a certain amount of income to be able to have the success of helping people. <laughs> okay? Right? Okay. Now, let me let me hand these things out. And take one. Um, they're actually the same document. It's just which one is highlighted. Okay? So it doesn't really matter. It says, I think it says the same thing. All right? But if you're an NT, who's the NT? NT is there, yeah. right? One right. of those? Okay. So just just take these and uh, there's only one logistical. Doesn't matter. You can just take whatever it is. Okay, I'm gonna need to send these out. No, they're they're all here. Okay, you can take any of them. All right? Yeah. Here, just just take, and, and you can read through the columns and you'll see. Okay? And you can study it. All right. Now, are there questions? Wait, where are you? distant colleagues is to share the screen and we're going to start okay now do do our distant learning people have uh, a screen that they see says narcissism, optimism, and leadership. 
Yes. Okay, yes. good. Okay, let's see how far we can get before something goes wrong. Okay. Um, so even though, just for the papers that I've given you, all four of these descriptions are on every page. So it doesn't matter much which one you take. Okay? If you look at the top, not the top, but the top of the columns. Right? Everybody see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, remember that I have sent you the PowerPoint that describes this. All right? You do need to study this and learn it, right? It's going to be on the exam, right? These different personality types, right? Okay? And again, more important than the exam is understanding yourself with this. Okay? So, if you're an SJ, if you're a guardian, how do you handle new ideas? Hmm? With reluctance. With reluctance, yeah. You like the old ideas better. So if you're the leader and somebody comes in with a new idea, your first thing is going to be to say, I don't think so. I like how we've been doing it. So you have to say, wait a second. You know, I took this leadership course and Professor Schuster said, I, I, uh, this is a weakness of mine. I should accept new ideas. So maybe I won't say no. Maybe I'll look at it. Okay. If you're an idealist and someone comes to you with a new idea, you're going to like it more than you should. So be careful. Okay? Maybe you should keep the old thing. So, you know, be aware of yourself and then be aware of your boss. That's the second most important. How do you communicate with people around you, especially your boss? Right? So if you're an if you're an idealist in NF and you like to talk about the future and your boss is a guardian, go in with a list of things. You should have numbers. Okay? They want the details. So even though it's not your nature, you want to do that. Okay? Now, we're going to completely shift what we're doing. And we're going to talk about Freud and his belief about leaders. Sigmund Freud. Okay? And the people who have followed him. So most of what I'm going to say comes from a man named Michael McCoby, who is uh, a student of indirectly of Freud's. Okay? And we're going to talk about narcissism, optimism, and leadership. Okay, here we go. First of all, what is a narcissist? Now, this is a term in, obviously, in English that is relatively commonly used. And usually, it's not stated in a positive way. So if you talk about someone as a narcissist, you're usually speaking critically of them. You're not giving them a compliment. Have any of everybody familiar with the word narcissism? No? Okay. So it's usually describing someone who's very vain, right? What's this lady doing? She's so much in love with herself, she's giving herself a kiss. Alright? That's how you would characterize somebody who's narcissistic. Any, anyone know people who are like this? Yep. I mean, right, unfortunately, right now, the, one of the most dramatic examples in world history is the current president of the United States, okay, Donald mm -hmm. Trump. We, we, we'll talk more about I that. think that those who you know, go and work out and put their pictures on Instagram all the time with their muscles constantly yes. are, are also... Like, yes, right? Okay. Someone in love with themselves. Now... This is the classic description of narcissism, all right? <clears throat> Narcissus was not capable of loving anyone and had been cruel to his would-be lovers, mostly men, okay? Nemesis, you know, interesting, these words have stayed in, the, in, in language. Nemesis, this is Nemesis, caused him to fall in love with his reflection in a pool. Therefore, he could not bear to leave the beautiful youth staring up at him from the depths. In this way, like Echo, he disappeared. Okay, so he's interested primarily in other guys. She's angry because he's not interested in her. This is a Greek myth. So she casts this spell on him 
he's so interested in beauty, he sees himself and he can't move. And so for eternity, he's just staring at himself, which doesn't accomplish what he wants, which is to make love to other people. So she gets her justice, okay? This is the origin of the word narcissism. 